Well, we've had a few people that weren't quite sure whether my fridge box was going to be a success or whether it was going to be a complete suck. <laughs> what was it? Could be good, could be shit. Well, actually, it's good so far. <laughs> So I just give them a little smoke and we can, the only thing I have noticed is that being that it's so bloody well sealed, it's um, maybe getting a little bit of moisture in there. So we might have to prop up this corner or something, but we'll have another look in a minute because that was a pretty dreary, bloody miserable day when I was here last. So we'll pop the lid. I don't know if anybody remembers that these are the girls that were in the kitchen. So they were in a kitchen cupboard and we thought, well, since they knew how to build horizontally, they might as well end up in here and be in a, in a horizontal hive. So let's have a look what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Look at that, eh? Would you believe it? From a cupboard to a fridge to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Ooh, they're pretty angry little buggers. They were very angry little buggers when we put them in here. Well, when we got them out of their kitchen. But maybe they've just like gone, oh well, stuff it. Perhaps they're domesticated now that they're in here. No, don't be stupid. They started to build along here. One of the dramas I did notice when we must have, we put this in here and it was a bit of an interesting day. And so this is what happens when you have a bit too much bee space. The ladies decide to do their own thing. And so in here, there's pretty much the brood nest and it's gone a bit wonky ass. So I'm not going to pull it apart because I don't want to disturb all their hard work and they've, they've done very well to get to this point. But like I said, I'm not going to pull that apart because it's too early in the season. I'm going to let the ladies build across and get some more brood going on. And then when we pull that apart, it won't be quite such a big drama. But I don't know, they look like they've got a bit of nectar going. They haven't done too bad. Doing all right, they're having a little, having a little nibble on there. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to pull that apart and show you the brood in there because we've, we've had a, they've had a bit of an exciting couple of weeks, well, a couple of months really, us fooling around with them. So we're just going to leave them alone, and I figure we'll come back and have a look. I don't know, probably sort of Novemberish. What are we in now? We're already in September, so yeah, October, September, yeah, probably November. And by that stage, we'll be able to pull that apart they will have made a nice lot of more brood and um yeah we won't we won't affect them so much but at the moment they're getting themselves for a bit of spring build up and i don't want to do any more excitement to them than we already have over the last few months but anyway i think they're a keeper surviving the bloody madness that went on with these poor bastards so if you didn't believe the fridge was going to be a success maybe in a year's time you can get some fridge honey that was actually Sort of managed, managed fridge honey. Might not be quite as exciting as the one that's in the middle of nowhere, but anyway. <laughs> so I was just sort of thinking that we need a little bit more air. So just for the minute, I'm just gonna prop this corner up. I found this little bit of sort of, not really a stick, it's a bit of crushed up old weed. And I'm just gonna poke it in this corner so that they can Maybe get a little bit more ventilation. Perhaps, you know, move that bit of moisture that's in that rubber out the way. And hopefully, hopefully in another month or two, it'll just be all tickety-boo. <laughs> There's another stupid Australian saying. Anyway, onward and upward.